The most common method for getting your stitches onto your needle is the long tail cast on. The first step in doing the long tail cast on is to estimate the length of your tail. If you're going to cast on 12 stitches, then you wrap the yarn around your needle 12 times, and then you're gonna give yourself a little bit extra after those 12 wraps for a little conservative tail. So I've wrapped the yarn around 12 times, there's a tail, plus even a little bit extra. And that's the place where you're going to make your slip knot, which will end up as your first stitch. A slip knot you do by wrapping the working yarn around your tail and then pulling the working yarn through that loop. We're going to watch it in slow motion. Wrap the working yarn around your tail and then grab that working yarn and pull it through your loop. That is your first stitch. That's a slip knot that you're placing onto your needle for your very first stitch, keeping the tail piece towards the front. Now, you put your fingers in between the tail and your working yarn there, that V, and you spread the yarn around your fingers. Now you're gonna cast on by looping the yarn around the needle. So you put your fingers in between that V open it up a bit and grab the end with your palm. Then you go in from under your thumb and over your finger and through the loop. We'll watch this in slow motion too. So under your thumb, over your finger and through the loop. So take your pointer finger and your thumb, put it into that V and grab the end yarn with your palm. Take your needle under the yarn on your thumb and then over the yarn on your finger and through the loop onto the needle. So put your fingers in between the yarn, grab it with your palm, take the needle under the yarn on your thumb, over the yarn on your finger, and through the loop, scooping it onto the needle. Under, over, through. Under, over, through. You continue to do this on down until you've got the number of stitches that you want cast on to your needle. Under, over, through. Under, over, through. Now, count to make sure you have the right number of stitches. Here, I'm supposed to cast on 12 and I cast on 15. So I've got these extra three stitches that I can just slip off. Now I've cast on 12 stitches, long tail cast on method, and I'm ready to start knitting. Here's a comparison of the long tail cast on to the simple cast on that we had an earlier video for. The simple cast on is quicker and easier. However, you can see the long tail cast on is more sturdy. It provides a more sturdy base for your first knitting, actually counts as your first knitting row, and it's kind of a neater edge too for your knitting. It's the superior method, but it's a little trickier. 